This comes back to the Elise Palace, our reporter, Yen Elise, standing by. Uh, Yen, a very significant ceremony. Tell us more. Well, before the ceremony, the Elysee Palace had told us that it really wasn't a celebration but a, a commemoration. And President Emmanuel Macron really hammered that in by saying that this anniversary date, <laughs> the uh, well, Evian Accords, represented uh, a victory for, for many but also a defeat for many others. He said that he knew full well that uh, this date represented the start of the worst for a lot of people because it was after the Evian Accords that there was a lot of violence. Actually, the bloodiest part of the conflict happened no. afterwards. There was a mass exodus of those the Europeans of, of um, Algeria. Emmanuel Macron also stood by his strategy. That This is his policy of, of acknowledging some of those historical facts that took place as your guest was talking about. Uh, these uh, acts committed by the French uh, forces, notably uh, the torture and murder of that uh, communist activist uh, Maurice Oudin, of the lawyer Ali Boumengel, uh, the when the way the French president had asked for forgiveness towards the Harkis, and he also said that the what the um, the attacks that took place on the Isli Street in Algiers was uh, unforgivable. Um, a lot of words, a lot of actions, and there have also been a lot of flowers placed at memorial since Emmanuel Macron came uh, came to bow. But still, no uh, official apology for colonization, which of course wasn't really really expected. Uh, it was interesting to note that back in 2017, when Emmanuel Macron was a candidate for presidency, not yet a president, he said that colonization was a crime against humanity, and that he got a lot of a lot of backlash for those statements, particularly from the right and the far right, and. Even now, uh, politicians in France on the far right, the right, and even within his own uh, centrist uh, party, uh, they warn him that the French president shouldn't be too uh, repentant on these topics. It is, of course, a very sensitive issue, and we are in a, an electoral year. We're just three weeks away from the presidential elections. All right, Yana, thank you very much. Yana Lee reporting from the Elysee Palace. We'll be putting Emmanuel Macron's comments into context of uh, this election campaign, but also in regards 